Folks, welcome to Vector Calculus. So our most basic parabola, the one we should all know, is this one, right? The happy face looking parabola. And that parabola. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the next lecture of Vector Calculus. Today we're looking at the parabola, an amazing conic section with some amazing properties, all right? This right here is a parabola. Now, just like every circle has two things, a radius and a center, every parabola also has two things. What are those two things? Number one, every parabola has a focus, a focus, a focus, okay? So a focus is just a dot, okay? This green dot right here is the focus. Okay, number two, every parabola has a line. We call that line by a certain name. We call it the directrix, right here. This right here is the directrix, okay? Now, why is this point and this line so special? Why are they so special? Well, the reason why they're so special is because if you take any point on the parabola, that point is gonna be equidistant from both this, this focus, this green dot here, and this orange line. So for example, for example, let's say I take a random point on my parabola, all right, that, that purple point right there. That purple point, let's say it's three, three units away from my focus, from the green point. Well, if it's three units away from the green point, it's also gonna be three units away from my orange line, from my orange line. All right, so hopefully you get a sense of what this uh, focus directrix relationship is, okay? It doesn't have to be this purple point, it can be any point, okay, on the parabola. Let's say you pick this point, okay? This purple point. That purple point might be, I don't know, one, one unit away, right? Let's keep things simple. It might be one unit away from the, from, the, from the green point. Well, then it also has to be one unit away from the orange line, from the orange line, okay? Not the scale, ladies and gentlemen. So, that's what the focus and directrix is all about, and those are really the most important things you should know about a parabola, okay? Now we're actually gonna derive the equation of a parabola using the focus and directrix, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and redraw everything, and we're gonna derive the equation for a parabola just from what we just learned, okay? So that's pretty amazing. All you need is two seconds of math, and you can derive the equation for a parabola. I think that's pretty crazy. So here's my focus, right at kind of the cusp of my, uh, if this was a kangaroo, this would be the baby right here. And under the kangaroo is the ground, okay? So that right there is uh, the ground under the pouch of the kangaroo. And uh, you know, what did we talk about right now? Well, if this parabola is on, is on, uh, is on the xy axis, it's on the xy axis, then it has some kind of a vertex, right? The vertex is kind of right here, okay? That's the vertex of the parabola. The focus, the focus, what would be the coordinate of the focus? Well, we can give it a coordinate of zero comma p, okay? p is gonna be the distance from the origin for, for the focus. And likewise, likewise, for the directrix, for the directrix, which is this orange line, uh, we can have it, uh, we can give it an equation of y equals minus p, right? So the focus is gonna be p units away from the vertex, the directrix is gonna be p units below the vertex, okay? At least for a, for a, a parabola. Okay, so what did, we, uh, what did we just talk about? We were talking about if you grab a point, if you grab a point, let's say you have a point right here, okay? The distance, the distance from that point, let's give that point some coordinates. Let's say this point is x comma y. The distance from that point to, to, to the focus, let's call that distance d, is also gonna be equal to the distance from this purple point to our directrix. Let's call that d as well. So what, what are we gonna have? What are we gonna have? Well, let's go ahead and use the distance formula and set some things equal to each other, right? So let's see what we can set equal to each other. What's the distance? What's d equal to over here? This d is gonna be equal to the distance between the purple and the green point. And what's that distance? Well, let, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, can I, do I have my green marker here? Thank God, I have my blue one. So, let's find the distance, let's find the distance between my purple point, which is x comma y, and my, and my green point, which is also known as my focus, okay? And that's of course gonna be zero comma p. So I wanna find the distance between these two guys, okay? And uh, let's let's use the distance formula to go ahead and find that distance, okay? So 
So the distance formula tells me the distance between these two points is going to be given by the square root of something. What's the something? Do you guys remember what the distance formula is? Uh, yeah, someone in the audience want to tell me? Yeah, definitely. Yes, yes, yes. So the distance formula tells us that the distance between these two points is the difference between the y coordinates. So, you know, y minus p whole square plus the difference in the x coordinates x minus 0 whole squared. Okay? And that right there is going to be the distance, the distance between my purple and my green point, between my point on the parabola and the focus. Okay. And we also know that that distance, this distance right here, this distance d, is going to be equal to the distance over here from the purple point to the, to the orange line. Sorry if I, if I confused you right there. I should have drawn the, this distance all the way to the directrix. Okay, so what's, what's this distance going to be right here? Well, we need points to find distance. So let's put a point over here. What's this, what's this point going to be? What's this point going to be? Okay, what's this uh, orange point going to have a coordinate of? Well, it's going to have a, the same x coordinate as my purple point, but its y coordinate is going to be minus p, right? Minus p. Okay, okay. Now, I want to find the distance between my purple point, which is x comma y, which is x comma y. I want the distance from my purple point to my orange point, which is x comma minus p. x comma minus p. All right? And I know that distance should be the same as this distance I found over here between my point and the focus. Okay? So let's go ahead and calculate that distance right here. Calculate that distance once again using the distance formula. So, once again, we're going to find the difference between the y coordinates. So, y minus negative p is going to give me y plus p whole squared. x minus x whole squared. Okay? And now we're going to set these two distances equal to each other because we know they're equal. Right? So, if you do that, uh, what, what do you get? Well, I should have my red marker. That's, uh, that's the best marker for crossing things out. So, here we go. So what are some things we can simplify? Well, number one, this x minus x, it's just zero, right? It's just zero. Number two, x minus zero, we, we can just rewrite it as x, right? We can just rewrite it at a, as x. Okay, keep things simple. Keep things simple. Uh, okay. Now, 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 if we set these two things equal to each other, what do we get? Well, let's go ahead and find out. Okay, so on the left-hand side, I'm going to have this. So y minus p whole squared plus x whole squared, right? Hopefully you agree. And on the right-hand side, on the right-hand side, what am I going to have? I'm going to have y plus p whole squared. y plus p whole squared plus zero, you know, whatever. Okay, okay. And now what are we going to do? Now what are we going to do? Now we can actually go ahead and square both sides. So we get rid of those nasty, nasty square roots. So let's go ahead and square both sides. And what happens to the square roots? Well, they cancel, they cancel, right? So this square eliminates this square root and this square root. And so what are we left with? Well, on the left-hand side, we're left with y minus p whole squared plus x squared. And on the right-hand side, on the right-hand side, we're left with y plus p whole squared, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's go ahead and expand this left-hand side here, okay? It's going to be what, okay? So we're going to have y squared minus 2py plus p squared plus x squared on the left-hand side. And on the right-hand side, I'm going to have y squared plus 2, oh, let's keep things consistent, ladies and gentlemen, plus 2py plus p squared, okay? Now check it out, check it out. I've got some things that cancel. This y squared cancels out with this y squared. This p squared cancels out with this p squared. Okay, and I'm almost there, I'm almost there. Okay, if I go ahead, if I go ahead and add 2py to both sides, what am I gonna get? Well, let me do it, let me show you. Add 2py to the left-hand side and the right-hand side. Okay, okay. And so these two guys are gonna cancel out. And so what are we left with? On the left-hand side, we're left with x squared. We're left with x squared. And on the right-hand side, we're left with 4PY. And ladies and gentlemen, we've just derived the formula for a parabola. 
This is the formula. X squared is equal to 4PY. All right, we're almost there. We're basically, well, you know what? I keep saying we're almost there. And we were there. We're in the holy land, ladies and gentlemen. We've just derived the formula for a parabola. And now we're going to kind of try to understand it. Now we're going to kind of try to understand it. So let's see. Let's look at the formula we just derived. So this is the formula. This is the formula we just derived using our knowledge of the focus and the directrix. And the formula is x squared is equal to 4py. Now, what does this tell us? Well, it tells us a few things. Number one, it tells us p. p, remember, is the distance from the vertex of the parabola to the focus. That right there is p. It's also the distance from the vertex to the directrix. That's also p. Okay? It also, it also hides something. It hides the vertex, the location of the vertex, okay? Here, you don't see w that the location of the vertex is 0, 0. But if I were to change the vertex to some other point, the vertex, the equation of the parabola would look like x minus h squared is equal to 4p times y minus k squared. Okay? Oh, sorry, y minus k. My fault. Okay? Where, where h and k represent the coordinates, the coordinates of our vertex, okay, of our vertex, okay? Um, now there's one more special scenario, right? This is for an up or down parabola. If you were to have a left or right parabola, what would your equation look like, okay? Instead, instead, what if, what if my parabola was something like this? Something like a, a left parabola or a right parabola? Well, then I'd have to adjust my equation just a teeny tiny bit. Instead of x minus h squared, I'd have y minus k squared is equal to, instead of 4p times y minus k, I'd have 4p times x minus h, right? So you just kind of switch the terms around, okay? And that would be the equation for a, for a horizontal parabola, something like this. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, and that's pretty much all we need to know for a parabola. But before we leave, let's go ahead and review some of the terminology we just learned, okay? So let's go ahead and erase this. Let's go ahead and review some of the terminology we just learned, okay? So here's some of the terminology we learned today. Okay, number one, we talked so, so much about the, the two big things about a parabola. What are the two big things for every parabola, ladies and gentlemen? Go ahead and leave it down in the comments. What are the two big things every parabola has? Number one, every parabola has a focus right here, a focus. Think about a kangaroo and its baby and its pouch. This right here is the focus, okay? And remember, with every focus, there comes a directrix. There comes a directrix right there, okay? And that right there is the directrix, okay? The directrix is the line under the vertex, okay? The vertex, remember, the vertex, remember, is right at the cusp of the parabola. It's right here, okay? So this is the, the vertex of the parabola, okay? So you can kind of imagine the vertex of the parabola as the location where it changes direction. And finally, the last thing every parabola has is an axis of symmetry. An axis of symmetry along which the whole parabola can be reflected. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for the lecture of vector calculus. We'll check you out next time.